Within the last couple of decades, this population has dramatically decreased in number. They are incredibly challenging to study because when they do surface they don't bring much of their bodies out the water so it's difficult to identify individuals and it's difficult to really discern what type of behaviour is occurring. For photo identification of individual dolphins, uh, for many many species we use the shape or the coloration that you find on their dorsal area, particularly their dorsal fin. The main cause of mortality for this species previously was entanglement in gillnets. The RiverGuard programme was put in place to remove the illegal gillnets which are being set in the dolphin sanctuary areas. So the chances of dolphins becoming entangled in these nets of course are far less if they simply aren't there. We're quite hopeful because we haven't, we've seen a decrease in adult mortality and there are several new calves in the last two years as well. The last population estimate was for 92 individual dolphins in the area and that's an increase on 12 from the previous estimate. So we're very hopeful that this population is now on the road to recovery. I think one of the most spectacular things about this particular population is the setting itself. They are such an integral part of the, the communities that live around the rivers. You know, the, the people that live in the Mekong area rely entirely on the river habitat, as do the dolphins. The dolphins and the humans, it's all, it's all part of one big system that's really clear to see.